All right, so we did go over this uh, feature in the previous video, but just in case you didn't watch it, I know that one was long, uh, but a lot of you may be coming to just uh, do a quick refresher on writing style fonts and how do you find them in, inside Cricut Design Space. So uh, very easy. Let's go ahead and add some text to our canvas, and I'm just going to go ahead and type it right here. There's scrappy Do. Let's go ahead and bring this up. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to use the font drop down menu right here. And then we're going to apply a filter over here on the far right. If we choose writing, we want to make sure that writing is selected and choose it. Okay. Now I already done it. So that's why it sees it like a little gray dot right there. So uh, every single font that is now in this list does have a writing style to it, which means it's a single line. Okay. Uh, obviously, you can do a search for the font that you'd like. Uh, I do like uh, this one, which is the Baby Steps. So let me go ahead and click it. So that's where you find the writing style. Obviously, we, we talked about this before in that other video. Uh, you can adjust the spacing on here. Um, however, it does start to get a little cramped. Uh, so what we talked about doing is uh, going over to the Advanced and Ungrouping by Letter. By you doing this, you are able to, uh, you know, if we zoom in here, try to get these letters flowing by holding the shift button down and simply dragging it over. Okay, so uh, you do that with, with each one of them if you do have some type of uh, cursive font that uh, you're trying to stick with. So once you have them all lined up the way that you, the way that you need and the spacing correct, uh, you just simply keep on clicking and then moving the group all together. But you want to hold that shift button down because we, we talked about this earlier with the welding is, uh, you know, if you hold the shift button down, you are constrained in a, in a certain direction. So if I move left and right, it's going to stay in, in a perfect line there for us so that it does all look like it is going to be one unit here. So that is how you would do that uh, once everything's all, all said and done. Uh, you do want to select everything and click on the attach button just to make sure that the writing will stay grouped together the way that you see it on here. Okay. Um, don't forget if you are trying to uh, add this to a tag or shape or anything, uh, watch the following video. We go over how to add writing style to a tag or card. All right.